some of that culture, some of that history has been very positive. The commitment to service, the, the commitment to, to you know, put yourself in, in harm's way and, and in the service of others, um, in, in, in the acceptance of that responsibility, I think there, there's a long and proud tradition in the Canadian Armed Forces and, and, and something that we want to retain and at the same time. I, I think there is, you know, th this was an, an organization in its historical development, which was an organization run by men, for men, and now the Canadian Armed Forces, quite appropriately, is, is evolving into a far more diverse organization where there's a significant role for women, for example. And, and you know, in some of the decisions that have recently been made to, to, to open up the, the applications for recruitment among permanent residents, mm -hmm. um, that, that's clearly, I think, going to be very effective in helping us attract an even more diverse work workforce, and that's going to make the Canadian Forces more effective operationally. But, but, but in order to make that effective, then there, has, there are certain elements of the culture within the Canadian Armed Forces, within paramilitary male-dominated hierarchies, that, that need to fundamentally change. And, and it needs to be done in consultation with the, 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 the men and women of the Canadian Armed Forces. Um, I think there is an opportunity to learn very importantly from others, and that's one of the reasons I've, I'm, I'm, I've been going through the Arbor recommendations and, and other reports, uh, and because it's, it's, it's a matter of, if, of institutionalizing that change in culture so that it's, it's sustainable, and so that the new, the new Canadian Armed Forces, a reconstituted Canadian Armed Forces, will will we, we scrub out those negative elements of of intolerance or discrimination or uh, racism that that may exist there can't be any place for that in the Canadian Armed Forces and, and quite honestly those t those more toxic elements they're not really part of of the culture of the Canadian Armed Forces they can they can in permeate and infect the culture yeah. but yeah. but th those are the things that we have to remove while we retain all that is excellent about that commitment to service that all the men and women demonstrate.